WFNN. Headline News Update. Uh, this is your 9 a.m. update, uh, slightly uh, slightly behind schedule here. Right now, we've got the uh, all the U.S. equity futures are trading lower. The Dow equity futures are off 110 points. S&P off 17. Uh, NASDAQ is off 67, all less than 1% to the uh, downside. Uh, you've got the uh, DAX over in Germany. That's off two, a little over 2%, 272 points, trading out at 12, 145. FTSE is off 12. So all European and U.S. markets are trading at downside. Side, the little opposite of what took place uh, last night overseas in Asia. You had the uh, Shanghai finished higher by 11, 12 points. Uh, that was up four tenths of a percent. Hang Seng up about uh, under 0.15 percent, 40 points to the upside. The Nikkei up a little less than a half a percent or 92 points. You've got gold up six bucks and change. Silver's up a nickel. Light sweet crude up 26 cents. Trade out at 57 level. Natural gas uh, still trading lower down at 214. Uh, you got the 30 year treasury is totally flat and the uh, 10 year note is up uh, two ticks out there. So, what are the markets doing? right now. You know, what we really have to pay attention to is going to be some of the short-term time frames. The Dow, which is off 109 points, is one of the charts that I'm paying attention to. The reason is on a short-term time frame basis is price continues to push lower at this hour. It's at 9 o'clock and is pushing lower with less relative energy out there. So we really want to see the candle that forms between 9 and 9.30. The easy way to do that is to pay attention to the next hour. I'm going to go ahead and fill in for Larry Pesavento. If we do get a bullish reversal candle between 9 and 9.30, that's on the 30-minute time frame chart. It will signal that we should see a buy bounce at the open this morning. Um, there's certainly resistance on this 30-minute chart. We can't call it a bottom just yet, a short-term bottom, but it is it is the uh, indice or the equity futures contract to be watching. So um, markets right now, look, we're in the unfavorable seasonal cycle time period. We'll see if it takes hold as it has in the past. Thanks for being here, folks. Stay tuned. Larry Pesavento. Of course, I'm Steve Rhodes. I'll be filling in for Larry during the next hour. Have a terrific Tuesday.